What's the difference between homework and housework? These two words seem practically identical, but they actually have separate meanings and uses. I'll clarify that in today's lesson so that you can be sure to use the right word. And at the end, I'll also tell you about a common mistake that English learners often make with homework and housework. Let's get started. Homework refers to schoolwork that you do at home. So if you're in class, your teacher might give you homework. Maybe a worksheet, maybe a book or article to read, maybe an exercise to do or something to research. And then you do that homework outside of class at home. Homework is usually extra practice or an additional assignment to help you practice what you learned inside class or to take your learning further. And housework refers to the physical tasks that are necessary to take care of your house or apartment, the place where you live. We usually use housework to refer to cooking, cleaning, and laundry, that's washing your clothes. So homework is schoolwork you do at home, and housework involves cleaning and maintaining your living space. Now one of my students asked if the word chores means the same thing as housework. Yes, chores is another word we can use for those things that you have to do around the house. Washing dishes, uh, sweeping the floor, cleaning the toilet, and so on. You probably don't really enjoy your chores, but they need to get done. And it's also common to use this particular word, chores, when you have a parent who makes their children help with these tasks. So the parent would say, you have to do your chores. You need to do those things around the house that you're responsible for, like cleaning up your room or maybe helping with the laundry. Now here's an important detail. The word chore is countable, so you can have one chore, two chores, three chores, or a lot of chores to do. But homework and housework are both considered uncountable, so we always use them in the singular. Always homework and housework, never homeworks or houseworks. They're singular even when they refer to multiple tasks. So if you have multiple assignments to do and multiple things to do in your house, it's still only homework and housework, singular. You can talk about the general quantity by saying a little homework, a little housework, or a lot of homework, a lot of housework. But don't use numbers, so don't say three homeworks. And don't add an S, don't say a lot of houseworks. That's incorrect. This rule also applies to the word work. Most of the time it's singular. So don't say, I have a lot of works to do. The correct way would be, I have a lot of work to do. You can say tasks, you can say projects, you can say assignments, you can say things. Those can all be plural, but work is typically singular. There is one situation where we can say works, and that's specifically when we're talking about works of art, works of music, or works of literature. So when we're talking about that kind of artistic production, then sometimes we do use works in the plural. For example, this is one of Picasso's greatest works of art. But in everyday life, when you're talking about the work you have to do, it's always work, singular. And the same with homework and housework, singular. Now you know the difference between homework and housework. And remember, doing homework is really important for reviewing and practicing what you learn. A lot of our courses at Espresso English include homework. Sometimes that's a quiz so you can test yourself on the lesson, and sometimes the homework is a writing task or a speaking task where you can send your answers to our teaching team and get correction and feedback. Our students often find this the most valuable part of our courses because then you're not just watching or reading or listening to me in English, but you're also using English yourself. And that really makes a difference in helping you learn and remember better. You can learn more about our courses and take free sample lessons by clicking on the link in the video description. Thanks again for joining me in today's lesson. I hope it has been helpful so that now you can use the words homework and housework correctly without confusing them. Have a great day.